Oh yeah, welcome back to Get Out the House, Go Fish. Well, it's been my luck lately where I'd be working and it's sunny and it gets up to like the mid-70s and then the days I'm off, it's like overcast and raining. Well, I told myself today, I do not care. If I get wet, I don't even have a rain suit. I mean, hmm, maybe, maybe I should get a rain suit. I don't know how to think about it now, but anyways... I'm going out, getting out of the house, getting on that water, and I'm going to do me some fishing. Yeah, just being out on the water is special. I mean, you can get out there, not catch anything, but the wildlife you see is, is just truly amazing. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy every minute you get out there. Enjoy the beauty and all that nature has to offer. So, anyways, I paddled and pedaled that Hobie around. For a few hours and it just wasn't happening uh, I was taking in and enjoying every minute of it but uh, anyway after a couple hours I came to a, a little area uh, and the water was just blowing up with a bunch of bait fish so I decided to take my cast net out and see what kind of bait fish I could catch let's see what we can do here This is all tangled up. This is in the bucket. Jeez. I'm like, make a little more noise. All right. Not used to throwing this thing in the kayak. I think I've ever tossed it in the kayak. So this will be a new, something new. Something new. So we'll see some action come up. I'm gonna toss this out there. See what we get. Oh, look at here. Y'all see this? Well, I caught some fish. <laughs> look at here. Sure did. How about that? Y'all like that? We got here. Hmm. All right, let's see. I don't know what those are. You know what those are? No. No. <laughs> That one almost got away. And this one just staring at me like, yo, mf, yo, mf -er. Hey, get out the house, go fish! Well, it's in my bucket. All right, so I just want to take a pause here, just for a minute, just to go over what kind of fish that was. This is the first time I'd caught this kind of bait fish. Usually I'm catching like mullet or pinfish in my net, but these were menhaden, okay? There are many names that people call them, like shad, bunker, shiners, pogies, uh, whatever else uh, name they give them, but menhadens. Uh, they're extremely oily fish, uh, bait fish. They make a great bait for almost all species, uh, alive, dead, or, or just cut up. And uh, a good way to tell uh, if you have some in your area that you're in when you're in your kayak out in the water the top of that water uh, will kind of like all of a sudden at once uh, you'll see a uh, it kind of light up as far as like the top of the water and like this big group and kind of like uh, move in in a certain direction they're feeding uh, the menhaden they're feeding on the algae 
uh, you know, the plankton, uh, and that's what they eat. They don't, uh, I mean, you can't catch them with a hook uh, unless you have like a treble hook and you're like throwing it and you're like going to jerk it back and, you know, in, in a fish, in a school of them and you can uh, jerk it back and maybe uh, get one like that. But uh, basically you have to catch them with a cast net. That's the only way you're going to get uh, this bait. When you do catch them, they don't do very well in poorly aerated live wells, so they're going to die quickly. And uh, when I put these two into my my blue bucket, you know, one was kind of like already just it was had been in there for a couple seconds, uh, and it was like already going off to the side and was like not doing so hot. Oh, and just a note: if if one dies, uh, they've been known to have these like small critters. Uh, I forget what you call them now, but uh, they'll come like crawling out their mouths uh, when when the fish die. So some people like get freaked out about it. Uh, I just wanted to share that with y'all in my next throw. You know, uh, there's some mullet in the area too, so just keep enjoying the video. So one, wait for some action. See some action. I don't know if I'll get anything with that. We'll see. I don't think so. Holy cow. Y'all believe this? I don't believe this. That's a lot of mullet there. Wow. Man, oh man. Look at all that mullet. Am I crazy? That's crazy. How to catch mullet. There you go. Woo, look at them jump out. That's the one thing. They love jumping. I'll just jump out of the bucket. Look at them. They love jumping down that bucket. Look at them jump. They all jump out. Yes, they will. Man, got to have a cover. Ooh, look at that one get away. They're getting away. Showing you how to catch some mullet. There's plenty out here. I don't need this many mullet, but I'm just showing y'all. Do I need some bait? Look how big this thing is. You know, that's one thing. I can catch some damn bait. Listen, just come here. Oh my gosh. I'm just showing y'all. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let them go. Check them out. Come on. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This was the uh, this was only my second time to this location, so it seems to be a, a great spot for bait because they kept blowing up on the water the entire time I was there. That's good to know because I mean you can catch your bait in one location and then take it home and freeze it. And then the next time you go out, maybe to a different location, you'll already have the bait. I'm putting a link at the end here to the grand prize winner of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. The winner was Brokenex, and he, he's located up in Alaska. 
He just recently did an unboxing of that prize, so click the link at the end of this video and check out that unboxing. Give him some support. He's got a really good channel. Um, he plans on catching some salmon with that bait cast and reel. I, I look forward to seeing that. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Thank y'all. Till next time.